This is Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com, and today we're going to do part two of upgrading my TrueNAS core to a TrueNAS scale. Well, if you didn't see the last video on the fail on that upgrade, uh, go ahead and take a second right now and go back and watch that video and then come back to this one. I'll wait. Um, yeah, so here's the thing. Um, when we upgraded the last, when we tried to upgrade, it failed. And I searched around. There wasn't a whole lot on, on Google that related to that. So I thought, well, I'll just do a fresh install, right? Okay, so I, I went and I got myself a USB drive and I flashed on the ISO and boom, boom, boom. Well, this is an old Z800 uh, HP and uh, it did not like booting off that USB drive. So I thought, oh man. And then I tried a couple different USB drives and fail, 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 fail. So what do I do? Okay, well, what I ended up doing is taking, and I was going, okay, well, I'll just install it on the drive using another computer. Boot of that, boom, would be great. Well, part of that process, so this guy right here, if you can take a look, this is a SATA DOM. And that was what I was using in that. And it's pretty old. So anyway, this is like a 16 gig SATA DOM. It's old, it's kind of slow. And um, in the process of doing this, it just died on me, right? So I'm like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> well, now what? Okay, so I dug out an SSD, an older 120 gig SSD, and I tossed that into my regular desktop machine, booted up to this flash drive, which I had uh, the FreeNAS, uh, the TrueNAS scale install installer on it. And so I installed it on there. And then I took that drive and I stuck it in the HP Z800, which is my main home NAS. Okay, so now that brings us to where we are now. We are here where I have the brand new, see it's a Z800 or, you know, it's got a Z on it, it's a Z800. And it uh, looks like I, I, I messed with the time, uh, something's not right there, so I'll have to go back and fix that. But then the question is, okay, so clearly this is true NAS scale, but the question is like, um, there's no storage pools, nothing like that. Well, the hardware is all the same. So now what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to try to take and restore that configuration from true NAS core to true NAS scale. I don't know if this will work. So let's find out. Um, and remember like the menus is a little different here. So I got to go over to settings. Um, and then I think, uh, general, maybe, um, or maybe manage configuration, upload file. And we're going to choose a file and I've got that here. Here we go. Cross your fingers. See if this works. And she's back up. So let's log in. And see what we have here. All right. So far, so good. Everything seems to be fine. It sees the data stores and everything. We got a little th something up here in the task manager. Um, not sure what that is. But, uh, yeah. And... I fixed the time on it too while we were doing that. So yeah, so far so good. It's up and running. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, again, TrueNAS scale is, uh, I figured it's about that time to start uh, messing with this, getting, getting something in that I'm using. And so this was a perfect opportunity. Um, so let's go ahead and look at, um, storage all right so we got the old beehive containers which stuff left over there and some of these other stuff that are are not going to be relevant anymore um like the io cage the beehive containers this vm cache probably not um this vm chair is probably not gonna have anything on it but really really it's just you know these two things here are gonna be useful for me um, so let's go ahead and look at disks, look at disks here. And so there you see the one, two, three, 
four, three, four terabyte drives. And this 120 gig is the boot drive. So you see that right there. Okay, so let's look at shares. Okay. Did the shares come through? Yes, Stevenson Media share came through. And NFS and everything is blocked. So let me just see if that works. Now I know that I had it right here mapped, but I changed the IP address, so I'm going to redo that real quick. All right, so I'm going to disconnect that, and I'll be right back and get it and, and see if I can get it reconnected. Okay, so I was trying to connect here, and boom, so I'm going to put in my credentials. And negative. So, question is, do I have to redo this? Okay, we're back. And so it looks like um, all I really needed to do to fix the Samba share was to strip all the ACLs and kind of redo it. So all I did, let me just kind of walk you through this. So first of all, uh, the TrueNAS scale documentation is great. Go to the adding SMB shares. Um, I watched this video, it's great. It basically told me to do all the things I did a long time ago. Um, so let me just uh, pop that up here. So what I ended up doing is going and deleting the share and then re-adding it. And the other thing I went to do is under the storage and the um, permissions. They're all over here. I went here as I went and I stripped all the ACLs and re-added the ACLs. So um, I already had a user. So when I went to credentials and user, and it goes through that in the video, I already had this user. So I didn't have to do anything with that user. Um, but I just stripped the ACLs, re-added all the ACLs um, on the storage here. I went to a few permissions. Once I had stripped everything, I went use ACL preset. And so I went and just used the NFS open one to start with. And that boom gives you everything you need. So, um, and that's all there was to it. So like I said, go and check out their tutorial. One of the things I really love about TrueNAS or IX systems is they have a lot of great documentation. So that allowed me to solve my problem. Now I'm able to map my drive again. And so effectively I have taken this TrueNAS core and converted to a TrueNAS scale and it's back up and running. So now we'll be able to do more videos on TrueNAS scale. And that is what I'm really excited about. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so there you have it. You can do the upgrade, but obviously I ran into several problems here doing this. Now your mileage may vary. It may just seamlessly move over. And I did this restore configuration, all this stuff, but clearly the files are on the store. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, and if you got something out of it, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Everything counts. Appreciate your time. Thank you.